Welcome everybody to a $4.5 million dollar beautiful one-story Pinecrest estate in an amazing location. The house right behind us, we just listed it for $4.5 million, built in 2018. So it's basically new. It's one story with five bedrooms, six full bathrooms, an incredible backyard, and you're on just under 27,000 square feet of land. The house just under 5,500 square feet of total square footage. But we're gonna show you inside, but before we go in, we gotta talk about the front here. You're completely gated all around, electric gates. It's electric, woogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> and then over here, you have a two car garage with plenty of driveway space, so you can park beautiful cars like you see right here in front of the house. I love the driveway, it's concrete pavers with the artificial turf in between. I love that modern sleek look, you can't go wrong with it. And then the facade of the home is lovely as well. I love the windows, perfectly placed. And then you have a really nice accent tile around the front door. So speaking of front door, almost twisted my ankle, but I'll see you in there. Let's go. I'm sweating. Oh my gosh, it's summer. It's great to see you inside. Now we enter this lovely estate. And the second that you walk in, you are greeted with these high 12 plus foot ceilings. You feel the volume and you look straight back to the backyard and that pool that looks literally like an oasis paradise back there. But when you walk in here, you have a little foyer here so you can put down your keys, right? Keys, put them down right here if, if you'd like, right? Maybe look at yourself in the mirror. If you'd like to, you have the option to. But right over here, we have a formal living room, right? Sit down here, have those intimate conversations, the serious conversations right here, meetings here. And what's nice too is from this space, you have a view of your front yard as well with these big windows bringing in a lot of natural light. Now, these space, the space is really nice because you kind of feel it like right when you walk in, you feel you're entering something with volume and size. This is your formal dining room right here. Now, this table, you could definitely put something much larger in this space and much more grand if you'd like. And you can even change it up. You can make this the living room here and make the living room the dining room. So you can get creative with the space is what I'm trying to say. It's such a nice space. Love the wallpaper here and the accent tiling on the wall there as well. You have speakers in all these entertaining spaces. So when you're having a party, it's a party. What? 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 <laughs> and what size is from these spaces here? And maybe this was the idea is have the dining here. So you're dining with a view of that backyard. So now we flow through to your family room and kitchen area. This is my favorite space of the house. It's so, so nice. You have your family room here with a big couch. You have the windows, or rather, not win well, you have windows right there, but you have doors that go out to that covered terrace, which is so, so nice. And over here, you have this really nicely built out shelving for your TV. This TV built out, the TV console is so, so nice. I love the wood slat paneling there. That's in right now and it looks beautiful. And that's a huge TV. It's just an even bigger wall so it makes it feel like, actually it doesn't feel small. It doesn't feel small at all. Especially when you have 13, 12 plus foot ceilings, right? Speakers here too, surround sound speakers. So when you're watching TV, you feel like you're in the movie theater, but you're not in the movie theater, you're at home. Your own home movie theater if you want. This is the kitchen, right? I love a kitchen off of the family room. I love a space like this. But you're also close to the living room and the dining room. The spaces integrate and flow so, so well. You have a beautiful quartz countertop here. Really nice sink with a view of your backyard. Oh my gosh, my pocket got caught and I am so sorry. Disregard, back, back. Cook, cooktop, wolf. You have a wolf and sub-zero appliances here. So this is a wolf cooktop, it's a cooktop gas with a really nice backsplash here. I love the outlets, very modern outlets. And this cabinetry is all Italian cabinetry. So, so nice. And I love how this, the knobs for the cooktop are integrated with the cabinetry. Now I wanna point out there are two dishwashers over here. Not one, but two. And in addition to that, you have your microwave over here, which is Wolf, but you also have a heating drawer as well, which you would never know is here if you didn't open this right now. We have some bananas and avocados in there, but when you turn it on, it does heat. You obviously wouldn't leave those things in there when you're heating, but you get the point. 
You get the point. And then you have the double oven, so you can have your vegan and non-vegan turkey on Thanksgiving. And then the Sub-Zero refrigerator here. If it's not Sub-Zero, it's a zero. But come back this way. I know George is gonna hate me because we're like backtracking and going against what the flow was. This is a big pantry that you can have obviously all your food and things in there. It's a really nice size pantry. It basically goes to like the end of the wall, like as you're seeing, which is nice. And then of course, all the storage space throughout. Look at the LED lighting below and above the cabinetry. So nice. And then you can eat in the kitchen here on the island. Come down this way. We're gonna head over to the primary suite, but first I'll show you what's on the way. Over on this side, you have the service quarters here. So this is a bedroom with its own full bathroom. And then over here, you have a two car garage with the height for a lift and you have your laundry room. So this would be like the service area. It's great, you park your car in the garage and you literally walk straight to where you're spending all the time in your home, right? And now you're getting a different angle of the spaces, the entertaining spaces. You see the volume, like with these high ceilings, they make such a big difference and you're gonna feel it in the bedrooms and the bathrooms. So this here is the bathroom for the uh, pools, the cabana bath. And also for the guests, I love the tiling around. It goes all the way to the ceiling, nice high ceilings. And I love this wallpaper and the vanity. Very, very nice and a perfect bathroom. So that way you go in the pool and then you can use this one and not have to go into the house. Now we walk down this art gallery, a hallway. That way is the primary suite, but first we go this way. So this wing of the house, you have three ensuite bedrooms. This is one of the ensuite bedrooms here, overlooking your front yard, which also overlooks that beautiful car in the front. <laughs> uh, but really nice windows, big windows that add to that facade of the home. This is a nice room with high ceilings and the bathrooms, you'll notice the high ceilings throughout and each room has a walk-in closet. So this is one of the three on this side. And then you have your second bedroom over here, ensuite bedroom again, has its own bathroom, walk-in closet, high ceilings, big room. And then the third bedroom on this side at the end of the hall, similar features with a beautifully appointed bathroom, the walk-in closet and the high ceilings. So these are three bedrooms on this side that we've seen, plus the one on the other side. That's four, but there's five. So we're missing one more, which is where you are gonna spend a third of your life in the most important bedroom of this house. Before we get there though, this is the wet bar. You have a nice area so you can have coffee in the morning, right? You have a little sink, so that way you don't have to go all the way to the kitchen. You can just do what you need to here. So that way your coffee is instant, right in the morning. Wake up in the morning with some coffee in my hands. Not funny. Anyways, you have a big door to enter the primary suite. I love a dramatic door into a primary suite, but it's actually fitting because look how big this room is. The high ceilings continue, but this room is massive. You have a king size bed here with a bench. You could get creative seating area galore if you wanted to, but look how big this TV is in your room. It's a huge room. I love the lighting that comes in. You have direct access out to the pool. If you wanted to just wake up in the morning, get the coffee, go to the pool. Or go to the pool, get the coffee. Uh, I'd do the other. Anyways, big size room here. You have the vanity station over there. And then look at this closet. This closet is unbelievable. It's a beautiful closet here. Right, this is like a boutique. It's such a nice closet, really nice. High ceilings, completely built out to perfection. And then you have your bathroom, of course, which is beautiful as well. Feels like a spa, big windows, lots of natural light coming in here. You have the tub, the shower here, which could literally, you could have a party in there. And then you have the handles over here. So guess what? You're not getting wet, you're not like, touching the handle and then running so you don't get wet. You do it right there and you wait for the water to heat up and that's it. That's comfort. Double vanity over here, really nice, tons of space here so you can put your things. And then these are two separate water closets. So no sharing toilets. I love that. Now that's, that's the primary suite and we've seen basically the entire house inside. Now let's take you outside and show you the exterior because that might be one of my favorite things about this house too. And 
here we are, exiting from the family room, which is off of the kitchen. And you exit from here and from your dining area straight to this beautiful covered terrace with speakers, beautiful tongue and groove ceilings. And I just, this furniture is literally perfect for this space. You hang out here, you lounge, you have a drink, enjoy the pool, you hear the water feature, very peaceful. That's what Pinecrest is about. I love this covered terrace and it's actually usable. You're not gonna get sun. And especially in this heat, it's easy to sweat and get sun. Sometimes you don't want that. Really nice big pool deck here too. You have a lounging area over there in the pool so you can put some nice loungers in the pool, get your tan on there if you wanted to. And then you have another deck area that I would put other loungers there as well. But it's a nice pool deck, very, very peaceful. And then you go straight out to this huge backyard. The backyard is so big. It's again, 27,000 square foot lot just under that. And you have so much green space back here and so much privacy, hedges all along. I mean, and this oak is so beautiful. It's a piece of art. And I love the facade of the home from behind too. That's the nice thing about Pinecrest is you get big lots like this. But look at the house from behind. This exterior back facade is spectacular. Modern elegance, but not super modern. It's like a contemporary and elegant modern. Built in 2018, finding a home under $5 million in Pinecrest that's newer build like this is rare to find. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching the tour. That's the end. And if you guys are interested in this property or any property in South Florida, please reach out to us. And we're posting tours like this every single weekend. So that way you get the best real estate videos in all of the universe. We'll see you guys in the next tour. Thanks again for watching and uh, just listed. Maybe just sold quick too.